Good morning, Elation. It's Tuesday, the 16th of May, the 173rd day of school. Please join me in starting our day with just a moment of silence. And now your morning announcements. There once was a ship that put to sea. The name of the ship was a bully of tea. The winds blew up her bow, the down or below my bully boys blow. <gasps> Soon may the willow man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the turning is done, we'll take our leave and go. There you have it. Wherever you may be, please stop and stand. Let's rise together for this morning's Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please join me as we call to mind the 1% aggregate gains rule, which tells us that if we just improve by 1%, 1% every single day for 180 days. The outcomes we can achieve are remarkable. Think about it as you bring this year to a close. Not because there's so much more that we can accomplish in this little time, but because this is a time of reflection of what is, what was, and what could be for next year. So keep that in mind as you reflect on the successes you've had from this year and what adjustments you might make as you look ahead to the fall. All right, what's going on today? First of all, I want to say thank you to our eighth grade students. Um, word travels fast, and the word traveled back to me that you had a very successful field trip yesterday. In fact, the driver stated that you were the best class that's been on a field trip this year. That's pretty remarkable. You make us proud, and we appreciate you. So thank you, Ms. Nair, for all you have done and continue to do for our students. And thank you, eighth grade students, for representing Emerson Eagles proudly uh, when you were off and our campus and out in the public. Also, on this day, uh, the song that you just heard was from a song dedication from Wyatt. And Wyatt's been waiting for these. He's got several song dedications in here, but that was a Minecraft parody of Nathan Evans Wellerman um, from Wolf Wolf. He says, I'd love to dedicate this song to everybody in the whole school. Wyatt, thank you for your song dedication and for being inclusive, making space for everybody to be included in your dedication from pre-K all the way to eighth grade. We celebrate today another Asian American. If you recall from last year, we celebrated this individual then, but we're going to celebrate her again now. Her name is Kalpana Chala. Do you know who she is? Do you remember from last year? Possibly? Kalpana Chala. She was the first woman of Indian descent to go to space. She served as a mission specialist and primary robotic arm operator on the space shuttle Columbia. Sadly, she was one of the seven crew members who died when the spacecraft disintegrated during its re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere in 2003, following the Space Shuttle Columbia's 28th mission. Chala was posthumously awarded the Congressional Medal, uh, Space Medal of Honor, and several streets, universities, and institutions have been named in her honor. She is regarded as a national hero in India, where she was born in East Punjab in 1962. Today, we remember and we salute Kalpana Chala. Thank you for continuing to join the celebration for AAPI Month. Let's get to the business of teaching and learning so that you, I'm sorry, let's get to words of wisdom so you can get to the business of teaching and learning today. And today is on the topic of diversity. We live in a country rich in diversity. This means we have many different kinds of people. Some say it's our diversity that makes America great. Now listen to this idea taken from a speech by the great American legislator, Barbara Jordan. And keep in mind, you, many of you are also writing a speech about diversity and inclusion. So this is one by Barbara Jordan. In her speech, she said, 
America is strong because of its diversity. Our history tells us this is true. E pluribus unum was a good motto in the early days of our country, and it is a good motto today. From the many, one. It's what makes us Americans. Similarly, I'd like to call to mind that the event we celebrated at the end of April was Many Pieces, One Community. And each of you had a puzzle piece to represent your class as we celebrated neurodiversity and autism. So remember this, our country is strong because of its great diversity. So honor the diversity here at our school. It's what makes America and Emerson great. With something to think about, this is Mr. Lodato. Mask up today. Keep your hats, hoods, and sunglasses off while indoors as a matter of social courtesy. And then stay in your zones. Put away your phones and make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.